Now, what we're going to do is find the matrix representation of the identity matrix on, well, on the vector space R2 to R2. Of course, what we are going to see here is a matrix representation that indicates a change of basis. In other words, uh, how to change uh, the coordinates given in those bases indicated by B, those basis elements indicated by B, into, well, coordinates indicated by C. Uh, now, they are ordered bases, so this indicates the first element of the basis, this one the second, this one the first, this one the second, just to have an order. So, what is that we need to do? Well, first thing, let's find the coordinates of each of these vectors that we have in the basis B. Of course, that has to happen in the basis C. Well, that corresponds to the following, uh, actually finding uh, solutions to the following uh, system of equations. The one that indicates this, the identity on applied on the vector 1, 1, of course, produces the vector 1, 1, which now we can represent, well, in the other basis C, so, I like, I like to find coefficients a11 and a21 for which the following takes place. And similarly, uh, the same would happen for the identity applied on 1, negative 1, the second element of b which of course is 1, negative 1. And now I'll just provide other coefficients, other labeling system, a1, 2, which is suggestive as, gonna, as, uh, as of what's going to come in a, few, in a few moments. Well, from this, what we're going to do is obtain a system of equations, right? As it's customary. Right? And we'll write them. Uh, the, the first one will correspond to this particular, and the second one it will look like this. Okay, so now how does it look? Well, just as follows. Uh, 2A11 plus 4A21 is equal to 1. Uh, also, 3A11 plus 5A21 is equal to 1. Uh, the other system uh, looks like 2A12 plus 4A22, uh, 3A12 plus 4A22, this one being equal to 1, this one being equal to negative 1. Of course, we may translate this into a, a matrix equation involving vectors that looks like follows, 2, 4, uh, 3, 5 times A11, A21 equals 1, 1. And this system may be transformed just similarly into 2, 4, 3, 5 times A12, A22 equal to 1, negative 1. Of course, if we combine the whole information that we have here, we have this. We combine into a single matrix equation, which is as follows, 2, 4, 3, 5 times A11, A1, A21, I'm sorry, 
Let me just modify it here really quick. A21, A12, A22. And that would be equal to 1, 1, now the first column that we have here, and, well, 1, negative 1, the second column that we have here. So look at the format of this equation. It looks like this. It has this form. Well, something known times something unknown is equal to something known. But it turns out that this one comes, uh, well, its columns come from a basis. Well, that means that the matrix that it conforms should be non-singular, meaning it's invertible. So, well, let's find the inverse. Since 2, 4, 3, 5 is invertible, well, uh, we compute just as follows. 2, 4, 3, 5 inverse is equal to 1 over 2 times 5 minus uh, 4 times 3 times 5, negative 4, negative 3, 2. Here I'm just applying the formula for the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix, which now we can reduce to 1 over 2 times negative 5, 4, 3, negative 2. So, look, what we have done is that we found the inverse. What now we're going to do is apply it to solve this equation. But now, once the inverse is available, this is what we're going to do. Multiply on both sides on the, on the left to get this. A inverse A, X is equal to A inverse B. Of course, this reduces to the identity, so what remains is X equal to A inverse B. In our case, we have this. Then, uh, A11, A12, A21, A22 is equal to 1 half of negative 5, 4, 3, negative 2, times 1, 1, 1, negative 1. Huh? Use the, use the pattern that is, up, that is defined throughout this procedure to find uh, the associated uh, change of basis matrix on different bases. Take care. See you next time.